Hi, it's Chester Tugwell, and in this video, we're going to look at if based on color. So our logical test is going to look at the background color of a cell. So in this scenario, if the product name has a red background, we want to apply a discount to the price. Otherwise, we don't. Now, if you do a search for this on the internet, uh, most websites are going to say this is impossible. And in a way it is, but there is a kind of workaround and this video is gonna show you how to perform that workaround. Um, the workaround is to use something called get.cell, which is kind of like a function, but it's more of a macro uh, that can sit in the background there of your file. Um, and we've got to use this macro function as such in, in quite an unusual way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clicking into the first cell that I'm going to use this get.cell function in or macro. And I'm going to go to the formless tab on my ribbon and then go to the name manager. And I'm going to create a new named reference. And I'm just going to call this cell color. You can call it whatever you like, but cell color is quite a good name for it. And down here you can, in the refer to box, you can use your get.cell function as such. It has two arguments. Uh, one is the number for the property that you want to retrieve from the cell. Now I've done another video on count if and sum if using get.cell. A lot of people were asking, what is the 38? Because we have to use 38 here. All 38 does is retrieve the background color of the cell that you're going to refer to. Other numbers retrieve other properties from a cell. So don't get hung up on the 38, you just have to use 38 to do this. So comma, and then the second argument is which cell are you gonna retrieve that information from? Now, I don't want to have dollars in that, so I'm gonna press F4 a couple of, well, three times to get rid of the dollars, and then I close the bracket. Okay, so you give it a name, call it what you want, and then in the refers to box, you have to write that and the cell that you refer to is obviously the cell that you're going to pick the color from. So I click on OK and then close this. And I'll just show you how this works. If I write cell color, there we are, it appears in the IntelliSense list. What it's doing, I'll just get rid of the currency format. Um, if I copy this down, you can see that the red, the red cells have a background color of three. That's the kind of index number it gives it. Now that's the important bit of information that we actually need. So what we can do now is we can create a logical test that basically says if the get.cell function re returns the number three, because the cell background color is red, then we want to apply the discount, otherwise we don't. So let's just write that logical test. So we can say, is cell color equal to three? And then just copy that down. And you can see I get a true wherever I have a red background on these cells. So now I have a true and false scenario. I can put it within the if statement. If cell color equals three comma, then I want to apply a discount. So the discount is up here. So I would take my price and I'd multiply it by open bracket, bod mass bracket, order of calculations, one minus 10%, which I'd need to fix. Why is it one minus 10%? Well, if you're applying a 10% discount, you've got 90% left. 100% minus 10% gives you 90%. So that's your value of true, comma, your value of false, well, that would be the original price. So I press enter and then I can copy that down. Control Shift 4 to apply currency format. And you can see that wherever I've got a red cell, I get a discount. Now there are some interesting consequences of using this get.cell function. Um, and one is, and this is a bit of a downside, that if I was to change the color, background color of this to red, I'd expect to see a discount, but I don't. And that's because I kind of have to refresh that formula. However, I have found a kind of Wait, by accident, I found a way around this. Let me just refresh that. Uh, so this, this method uh, will automatically update the formulas when you change the color. And you have to use the Format Painter to do it. So what the Format Painter does is copy format. So you start with a cell that already has the correct format. 
you go to the format pane, so this is on the home tab, and then you click in a cell that you want to copy the format to, and that does update the discounted price. So try again on this one, 12 pound at the moment, click on that, see it updates the price. So that, that's quite good, I found that totally by accident. I don't really know why that works in that way, but that's good, that's good to go. Now, the other thing you'll need to know is if you're using get.cell, you will need to save the file as a macro enabled workbook, not as a normal workbook, otherwise your formulas won't work. And that will change the file extension uh, of your file. But apart from that, um, I think that's quite a useful uh, little uh, use of get.cell within the if function. Uh, the other video I did was on count if and sum if, and you can use that in the same way. Just look and search on my channel uh, for that solution as well. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please subscribe if you find these tips and tricks useful.